Good morning folks. Welcome back to another video. So this morning I am pretty much just out for a walk with the camera in hand. Have the tripod on the back just in case. Um, I'm in Townley Hall. Lovely bit of woodland. Real dense in parts. And there's parts like this then that open up. But uh, I've got um, I've got the 600 on. I have the macro lens in my bag, just in case. We see some nice mushrooms or we see some bugs or something. And uh, I'm pretty much just going for a walk. I'm going to see can we photograph some birds or, uh, or anything really. Flashing rain, as you can probably tell. And uh, I didn't bring my jacket, just the body warmer. I don't mind though. But uh, I can hear some gold crests. Did you hear that? Listen. I don't know if you can hear that. It's like three, three or four. Sharp calls. It's the gold crests. Beautiful bird. bird. And I've seen a black cap actually on my way up. I've seen one there. I've seen a black cap and some black birds. I can hear the gold crests. But I just can't see them. They do love. They love these trees. The gold crests. So that's obviously why I can hear them here. But I'm going to go for a walk with the camera. Um, we're in the woods and uh, hopefully we get some nice photos, maybe some birds or I want to keep looking at the ground as well and I want to see can I see any mushrooms or something I can photograph with the macro lens but uh, it's bloody lashing rain. Forecast was only clouds but of course sorry, I saw a mushroom there. But, of course, Irish weather, can't predict it. So, uh, right, let's spend an hour or two walking through these woods and let's see what we can find. Hopefully some birds or something with the macro lens. Um, you never know. You never know. just walking down this path and I looked left and I don't know if you can see it on the GoPro but down here it looks absolutely beautiful you have real dark here on the sides and you have the light hitting the back and do you know what I think I'm going to try to get a photograph of that I don't know whether to go with a tripod or not I want to stick with the long lens anyway because it's quite far away and I want to try to get some photos I think because I'm not leaving this woods empty handed so uh, what I'll do, what I do, what I do I might actually go in no I'll try to get some photos no I'll stay here and I'll see can I get some photos see what I mean here look so you have the lovely dark, the dark wood frames it, and then you have the bit of the light coming down from the top, down there. And what I'm going to do, try and keep my ISO down. Maybe I want to underexpose it anyway.
At least we got something so far. I think that's really nice. Happy with that. Still lashing rain. Absolutely rotten. Bike. Scared the crap out of me. But uh, I'm set up here because there's some gold crests kind of hopping around these trees here. It's quite a distance. But um, they're just kind of hopping from tree to tree, picking at the trees. So uh, I'm just getting a little bit of footage here. They just keep kind of flying into the woods and then kind of coming back out. So I want to just try to get some footage of these guys. I don't know if I'll get some um, any photos unless they come quite close because I don't want to go in and chase them or anything. I'm just going to leave them be and see can I get some footage. And uh, I'll try to get some photos, but I don't think it'll turn out too well because they're quite far away. I'd have to go crawling in there and uh, it'd be quite dark as well. So I don't think the photos will come out any good. I want to get some footage of them here. Beautiful little bird, the gold crests. Europe's smallest bird. Even smaller than a wren. And they have this beautiful yellow strip, kind of like a mohawk. I want to see, can I capture that face now and show you? Beautiful little bird. You can see, this used to be a real dense area. They cut down a lot of trees. Just to kind of let the other trees breed, so they uh, when it gets too dense. But there, uh, some lovely little openings now. Oh, here they are, now they're back. There's two of them actually, two gold crests. What an absolute beautiful little bird. So yeah, there was two of them and they were just kind of hopping around these trees. And then I managed to get some photos of them up here um, on these sticks coming out here. Um, absolute beautiful little bird. Um, I wish the light was a bit better because I was actually at ISO 3200 um, and my shutter speed was like 250th I think. And they're quite fast, so I don't even know if they're sharp. I won't, the images aren't kind of anything you put on a wall or anything, but I um, managed to capture some photos of them. And that's what it's all about. See them here. Beautiful little bird. Look at them. They're absolutely tiny. And they have this really cool yellow kind of mohawk and a bit of yellow on the wings. Absolutely gorgeous. Look, you can really see. Look at that. The yellow mohawk. The yellow bit on the wing. Like, it's not like, it's such a busy photograph when it comes to the photography side of things. 
it's not the best image. But I managed to get a photo of them. Beautiful little bird. Absolutely gorgeous. And they're just hopping along here. Got a little bit of footage of them going up these trees. And then it was just over here where I got those photos. They just kind of hopped onto this. And I managed to get off a few photographs and then they flew off. Absolutely beautiful. So that's a wrap. You know what? Images aren't the best, I'd say. But got a few hours in the woods doing a bit of bird watching just with my eyes walking around the woods <sighs> nothing better for the soul real calm rainy morning no people around because of the rain pretty much didn't bump into anyone seen one guy that's about it but uh, got to watch the gold crests two of them hopping from tree to tree Managed to get off some images, probably not the best, but hey, what a morning. Hope you've enjoyed it. Nothing too special. No owls or badgers or buzzards or foxes, but have to do something different every now and then. So, thanks for watching. So, I don't know if the images turn out well, but if they do, Definitely put them over on the Instagram at Sean Mead Photography. I'll leave a link down in the description. Ooh. Took the tree. And also, um, what that was? I think it was a cow. This is a field just in there. It scared the crap out of me. Ugh. Or over on my website at shawmeadphoto.com and I will put a link down in the description as well and uh, so next it's all about the deer rutting season has started won't get down to Killarney this year I don't think I was in Killarney last year photographing the red deer but this year I want to stay local because there's quite a few herds of red deer in and around Drada. Drada to know Tully Allen area. And I have a fair idea where they're rutting this year. That's what scared me. The cows. But yeah, I have a fair idea where the deers are rutting this year. So it's October in like two weeks. No. What day is it today? Seventeenth September. So in a few weeks actually. But it's gonna be all about the red deer. Over the next few weeks. Hopefully get some nice photos of the stags rutting. Might head up the Gosford Forest Park. Um I might. I'll definitely there's a spot, lovely spot down the Boyne where I'll definitely go and get some footage of the red deer. Um, my only um, adversity is time because obviously I work full time and then I have two beautiful kids that need me home so if uh, sneaking out for a few hours can be quite challenging but I try to make do but that's what's next on the agenda anyway the red deer but um anywho i'd ramble on forever so i better get going back to the car because i'm absolutely soaked through soaked and i uh, hope you guys enjoyed it and sure i'll see you on the next one <laughs>